In North America, we share vital resources, including air, oceans and rivers, grasslands, deserts, mountains and forests. Together, these resources are the basis of a rich network of ecosystems. The Commission for Environmental Cooperation, CEC, brings together citizens and experts, entrepreneurs and researchers from Canada, Mexico and the United States to protect these valuable resources while supporting sustainable economic development. How is our trilateral work making a difference? Green growth. The CEC is advancing green growth across North America by promoting sustainable trade of selected species, greening maritime transport, and helping businesses and communities waste less food. Supporting sustainable trade of CITES species. Did you know that the sustainable trade of some plants and animals can have a positive impact on both species conservation and livelihoods of communities? Building on the successful launch of its action plans, the CEC is promoting the sustainable trade of four groups of North American CITES Appendix 2 species. Tarantulas, sharks, turtles and tortoises, and timber, through capacity building and outreach activities. Por medio de trabajar con los gobiernos federales de Canadá, México y Estados Unidos, la Comisión de Cooperación Ambiental está construyendo un consenso para asegurar que las políticas públicas y los lineamientos de cómo extraer tarántulas del medio silvestre, cómo reproducir tarántulas en el medio de cautiverio y hasta que llegue el momento de poderlas comercializar, pero que haya una trazabilidad completa, total y absoluta. Por eso están aquí los expertos. Ellos son los que tienen que definir esos lineamientos. Reducing pollution from maritime transport. Marine transport of goods in North America supports our economies, but also produces high levels of pollution. The CEC is improving competitiveness and environmental performance in the maritime transport sector by supporting Mexico's efforts to establish an emission control area and sharing best environmental practices among North American ports. The benefits of establishing an emission control area in, in North America have already been demonstrated in terms of the North American emission control area that was established several years ago by the United States and Canada. In the first year of implementation, we saw a 70% reduction of uh, PM 2.5 emissions related to maritime transport and maritime fuel. And so that is significant from a, both a public health as, as, a, as well as an environmental impact. Measuring and mitigating food loss and waste. Measuring food loss and waste and calculating its environmental and socioeconomic impacts is critical to finding solutions for its reduction. The CEC is advancing the development of practical guidance on food loss and waste measurement approaches to help the food industry, government and businesses better understand how much, where and why food loss and waste is occurring. El Banco Mundial viene trabajando con la CSA desde hace tiempo eh, con los tres organismos ambientales de América del Norte, con Semarnat, con la US EPA y con Environment Canada, en donde yo, lo que hemos podido ver que a nivel global pues han tomado un liderazgo en todo lo que es la temática de pérdida y desperdicio de alimentos. Así que la, que la CSA esté liderando esto no solamente es importante para América del Norte, sino que establece un precedente a nivel global de una tarea muy importante que es la cuantificación y eventualmente la toma de acciones para poder disminuir la pérdida y desperdicio de alimentos. Ecosystems. The CEC is working closely with communities across North America to improve and restore terrestrial and marine ecosystems. Strengthening adaptive capacity of marine protected areas. Building on its work to identify vulnerabilities of coastal ecosystems, the CEC is developing a coastal impact mitigation and adaptation toolkit to provide practical guidance to practitioners so that healthy marine protected areas are maintained and continue to bring economic benefits to local communities. Canada benefits from working with other countries, including Mexico and the United States on our coastal ecosystems because they're actually shared seascapes. So ecosystems don't know the same boundaries as we as humans do. Grasslands work. Did you know that in the North American grasslands, 360,000 acres of land across the three countries were placed under sustainable management 
as a result of a CEC-funded initiative? Thanks to our two grassland projects, beneficial management practices are now more widely used by landowners, leading to improved habitat quality and increased economic benefits for ranchers. These are just a few examples of how CEC work is supporting opportunities for innovation in green growth and protecting shared ecosystems. Our projects are made possible thanks to the Government of Canada, the Government of the United States of Mexico, and the Government of the United States of America.